I'm default cube and in this render, you can see a really complicated pattern, super easy to make. I'm gonna start off with a source of randomness, so that's gonna be a noise texture. Turn off normalize, and then everything we're doing is just manipulating these coordinates. So let's start off with generated coordinates, mess with these using a Voronoi texture. Their contributions get added together. You can see immediately this gives us a nice swirly pattern, and as I play with the settings over here, you can see we get really detailed results, especially if I bump up the detail. I take this, in my case I set it to Manhattan to get kind of a more geometric looking thing, and then as as I bring up the roughness, we almost have this recursive pattern where we have 5x5 five five tiles, and to have this have more iterations, just take the detail, bring it up a bit, and now it goes much deeper. Use this to get a whole bunch of different patterns, and notice, because this is driving a noise texture, if I change the settings here, we can get all kinds of different results, especially if I make this four-dimensional. In other words, it has this nice W slider, which will let this animate over time. Type in hash frame, that's the frame number divided by 300 or some big number, and now this will be animated over time. To kind of get the contour, that I have, just take this result and I'm going to compare it to a certain number, anywhere near 0.9 with a small epsilon, kind of glitchy, but it kind of traces out these patterns. I've been Default Cube, that was the tutorial, and I'll see you next time.